repairing this bucket that I took out of the ground that I was using as a worm bin, I'm going to take this bucket and turn it into an indoor worm bin. And I'm just taking some mesh that I had. I got some garlic in this mesh and I'm just cutting it into smaller pieces and basically sealing it onto the side holes because I don't want the worms to get out or I want fewer worms. If they're gonna get out, they're gonna get out, but I don't wanna lose my worms. And I put some sealant on the sides, if you guys can see right there. I put some sealant around the holes and I'm just pressing it in to put this mesh over it. And I'm gonna let this dry for about a day and then come back and place it inside of the buckets. Uh, this is gonna be a three bucket system. And as you can see, hopefully you can see, I'm just pressing this sealant around that hole, trying to get it to where it's sealed off and the worms are less likely to get out. And I did that around the entire bucket. I hope you guys can see that. I have different size meshes around the entire bucket because I had two different, two different types of mesh. So that's me sealing off all of these holes. Now I'm gonna let this sit. And while I do that, I'm going to go back. Now I'm sorry that the bucket looks pretty gnarly, but I took this out of the ground and I cleaned it up. It still has a little bit of dirt on it. Uh, but I'm gonna drill some more holes in the bottom. These are pretty big holes that I drilled before, but I'm gonna drill some smaller holes. So let's drill some holes in the bottom of this bucket. If you wanna know what kind of sealant I used, I just used some sealant that I had around the house, um, kitchen and bath and plumbing sealant, because it's water resistant. And I used this to uh, caulk the sink. I re the sink in the kitchen and I had some of this laying around, so I said, ah, let me try this and see if this will work. Now I'm taking a smaller drill bit and I am going to drill some smaller holes in the bottom of this bucket. It's gonna be pretty loud, so hold your ears. Now I'm gonna do the same thing in the second bucket and I'll be right back. I'm gonna place some smaller holes in this bucket now. And I'm just randomly placing these holes. Hope you guys can hear me. That was, I'm randomly placing these holes. This bucket has a little grass on it because it was sitting on the grass. I was rinsing off the bucket. So. It's a little bit dirty, but I want to rinse them off again. Now I'm 
gonna get the larger drill bit and change it and put some bigger holes in here just in case. Change the drill bit and I'm gonna put in the description box below the sizes of all the drill bits as well as the silicone that I use just in case you wanna follow along and make this for yourself. Now I'm gonna drill some larger holes. <laughs> Right now I'm going to clean all this up and I'm going to make a spout on my bottom bucket. So let's what do that. What I'm going to attempt to do now is to put a spout on the bottom bucket so that I can retrieve any worm. I don't know if they call that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The worm juice, the worm liquid, the worm. There we go. Worm tea. <laughs> Y'all, I need a nap worm tea this is going to be the bottom bucket that's going to collect the worm tea and i'm going to put a spout on it i had a spout laying around from when i made kombucha my jug that i got had this spout i hope you guys can see had this spout on it but this spout is not the best spout it's made of plastic it's not going to last long but i have it so i'm going to use it and if it proves to be of a benefit to me i will replace it with a sturdier spout but for right now this is what i'm using and so i'm going to take the grommet off as well as the little plastic stopper and i'm going to try and drill a hole just big enough to get this in here without there being any leakage so I don't know how well this is gonna go I have a paddle bit on here this is a half size paddle bit so let's see what I can do hope you guys can see I can't tell what you guys can see And I've already made this a half size, but I, I wanna try to drill this out a little bit more because this is slightly too small. And I don't wanna get a larger bit because then it'll be too big and it'll really mess things up. So let's see if I can get this to drill it out just a little bit more. Now what I'm doing is I'm pushing it along the sides of the holes, trying to push out any more material that I can. And I don't know if that's gonna work. I may end up actually getting a larger bit because that's a little bit too small and it's still not working and I'm not gonna be able to force this in here so let's see if I have a bigger paddle bit because this isn't really working okay I didn't have a larger paddle bit that would work so I just worked this one until I got it in here and the hole Fit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the little stopper and the nut in here and see if it works. Let's see if you guys can see. I hope you guys can see. Hold that thought. I'm going to put the little stopper in here. And is taking a minute. Let's see. Let's see if you guys can see that. I'm just trying to get this little plastic stopper up against the hole. And now I'm going to take the little nut and thread it like so. Get it as as I can with my fingers. Sorry you guys can't see that. There we go. There we go. Can you guys see that? Now I'm going to put some water in here and see if I have any drip. 
We need drippage, spillage. It looks like it's pretty tight and looks like it's not going to spill. So let's test it out. Hang on one second. There is water in the bottom of the bucket. You see that water? And it doesn't appear to be leaking. Let's see if the spout works. And the spout works and it's not leaking around the seal. So it should be pretty good. So let's put this bucket together, shall we? My three buckets. This is my base bucket where the warm tea is going to be. This is the bucket where I'm going to set this up so that it is their living quarters. And the top bucket is going to be the food bucket. And it still is has some drying to do, so I'm not going to be able to put this inside of here just yet. But I'm going to get my food and bedding and fill it up and get this ready for the worms that are going to come. So you guys have an idea of how this is going to work. Let me move you guys so that you can see a little bit better. Hang on a second. How about that? There we go. So I've got a, uh oh, sorry about that. I have a three bucket system. My tripod doesn't want to act right today. I have a three bucket system. So I will be placing this bucket on top of those two buckets. And again, I will have food, bedding, and where the worm tea is going to reside. So until then, I will show you in the end what this is going to look like when this bucket is dry. But up until it dries, I have to let it sit. But I'll be back with more with the worm tower. The mesh has dried around the bucket. And so now it's safe to begin to stack these up and prepare them for the worms. Now what I'm going to do is in this bucket, I'm going to place just a couple of leaflets that came in the mail to make sure that the worms don't fall through the holes that I've drilled in the bottom of the bucket. So just like that, I just placed some leaflets that I got in the mail that I was just going to shred up anyway in the bottom of the bucket. Now I'm going to layer this bucket with some coconut core and some shredded paper. What I'm doing now is making the bedding for the worms. And this bedding is going in the second bucket. I already had some coconut core in the shed that was already reconstituted. I reconstituted this coconut core probably sometime sometime last last fall. So I'm just going to put a few scoops in there just to cover up the paper. And that was 3 scoops of coconut core. Now I'm going to place the shredded paper in there as well. Now when it comes to your shredded paper just make sure that it doesn't have any plastic in it because the worms won't like the plastic. So I made sure that I took any plastic pieces off of any envelopes out. And that was one handful of shredded paper. I'm going to put just a little bit more. That's about a half of a handful of shredded paper. And I'm just mixing that up with the coconut core. Now this is dry. I'm going to have to put a tiny bit of water in here. You don't want it to be wringing wet. You want to be able to squeeze it and maybe one drop of water comes out but you don't want this to be wringing wet so this is their bedding and all I'm going to do now is put some water in there now before I do that let's move on to the bucket where their food is going to be housed 
This is their food bucket. All I'm gonna do with this is put food in it. And the whole thought behind this is they're gonna come up from the middle bucket into this bucket to feed. Now in this bag, I just have some shredded newspaper, not newspaper, shredded paper towel and uh, toilet paper or kitchen and uh, loo rolls, depending on where you're from in the world. That's all this is. And I'm gonna put just a layer on the bottom, just like that. And I had just enough for one layer. Just spread it out. Now I'm going to go and get the food that I have. Now this is some food that I've been collecting in the house for a couple of days. I had some kohlrabi that didn't fare well. I have some sweet potato skins. I have some tea leaves. Um, I've got a few other things in here that I'm going to have to take out uh, because I know they're not going to eat that, like the lemon, the lemon peels. But this is the food that I'm going to place in here. So let me pick out what I'm going to put in here and make sure that I don't put any of the things that I know they're not going to eat, like lemon peels and or I have some pistachio holes in here and they're not going to eat that. So, okay, so I'm just going to have to pick out these bits and pieces. I would normally not do that, but I forgot that I was going to be saving this for the worms and I ended up putting stuff in here that I know the worms are not going to eat so I'm making sure that I'm only going to put in here what the worms are going to eat and I'm going to let this sit for a few days and settle and, and rot down that way it is completely ready for the worms when they arrive and again um, this is just some potato skins sweet potato skin some elderberry, some cabbage pieces. I'm trying not to get out the shells and the um, lemons that I know that they are not going to be able to eat. And that will be about it. This is me setting up my worm tower. Next will be the worms will arrive. Now what the rest of this is just stuff that I know that the worms are not going to be able to eat. So this is going to go into the compost bin. And again it's pretty nasty when food begins to rot down sometimes it will mold. The worms don't care about that. But that's it. This is the worm tower. I'm also going to put some coffee grounds in here as well. I'm going to add some more food bits as I'm using it. I'm going to be cutting up some cabbage inside the house today so I will be adding the cabbage in here. I'll be adding some more um, other kitchen scraps and I'm going to put some coffee grounds in here and this is all I'm going to do for the food bucket. So that's it guys. That's my worm tower. All I have to do now is wait for the worms to arrive. Until then, Thanks for watching.